So I'm here with Norm from Lily Miller. And Norm, you know, we are in the Northwest and we have moss and I'm spraying right now the moss out for Absolutely, moss. absolutely. That is probably the most effective way to control mosses with a liquid application. There are other options, but you know, here in the Northwest, due to the climate that we have, the shade that we have, and actually the soils that we have, it's very conducive to moss. If you go east of the mountains, Bend, Redmond, Prineville, even over to central Washington, have very little, if any, moss in the lawns because of the soil conditions. And I think people get really, they get concerned and frustrated because every year it seems like it comes back. And, and it's really, a lot of it has to do with our climate. Well, the climate and also the maintenance factor. Yeah. A lot of the consumers, you know, they want to fertilize once a year and they think that's all that's necessary, so they let it go. They also want it to look like a golf course, so they mow it too close. The thing about moss is if you, it's like weeds, if you don't try to take care of it and build a thick, healthy turf, it's going to return year after year with vengeance sometimes yeah. too. Yeah, now this stuff that we used, I, in a little bit we'll take this up and you can actually see the dramatic difference of how quickly this one works, but you do have a couple of other options here. We do have. Uh, if the consumer doesn't want or the customer does not want to uh, use a liquid application, liquid application works faster because it's absorbed readily right into the moss itself. Sure. The granular takes a little bit longer to break down with some of the moisture that we have, so if you have a fertilizer spreader, you can put it down with a fertilizer spreader. We recommend that. And then also you can, you can get the one with the fertilizer as well. So you have moss out that will just kill the moss and then you have moss out plus fertilizer which will kill the moss and then help induce some growth to the grass. Now once, once it's dead and you see that it's dying out, there are some things that you need to do to can help do. make sure that it doesn't come back. Can do. You can use a thatching rake, something like, similar like this. You want to be sure and let it kill itself out and dry out a little bit. You can use a thatching rate. You can get a thatching blade for your lawnmower. You can actually rent a thatcher and remove it. And then if you have a, a large amount of moss, such as we have here in this lawn, you may want to reseed, and that might be just a little bit further down the road when we get a little bit warmer temperatures. Yeah, because if you do it too quick and, and it starts growing, it, it will defeat the purpose of a nice thick lawn. Absolutely, absolutely. So once the, um, once the stuff turns brown, and it really does have to turn brown, if you go too quickly, you're defeating the purpose of using the, the yeah, you just After you just let that spray on there, you let it set for day or two days and then let the let it dry out a little bit more you're going to be a lot better when you it's be a lot more effective when you try to remove it then and then once that's done you just put the grass seed down and then maintain it grass seed down a little bit of fertilizer and then just hope we get a little bit more sunshine to help germinate the grass now norm this is an example of how quickly this product works because it's only been a few minutes oh and look at that, look at that. <laughs> oh mercy day well i did tell you the liquid is fast it's very fast now is this the time when it turns this dark brown? Is this the time then that you can go ahead and start raking it out? The moss? Well, you should you should wait just a little bit uh, because you put you know you put water down on it, and moss is like a sponge; it's absorbed all this moisture, and you want to let the chemical work a little bit longer on it, and then it'll dry out a little bit because you don't want to tear out any of the good grasses that you may have sure. left. In this particular case, however you may really consider some reseeding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because there's about 99% moss in that little test pot right there. The other thing you can do at this time of year is to use a super sweet product and that helps sweeten up the soil. It's a calcium carbonate. It breaks down with water and it gets into the soil as well. And when you use the moss out of the liquid or the granule, that'll green the lawn and not induce a bunch of growth because a lot of people don't want to mow because it is a little bit early to get yeah. out there mowing the water. And the, uh, the Super Sweet will break down and give you a little fertilizer kind it of It does. Too. It breaks down the, the NP and K, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potash that's in the soil. That's what starts to break down as the soils, the nutrients have been stored over the winter period. Well, for more information on uh, what to do with moss in your lawn, you can go to gardentime.tv or any of your independent garden centers. It is always a pleasure to kill moss with you. Thanks so much. It's always a great time. Thank you. <laughs>